Hello world, this is Kai, and I'm going to assume that you've been following along so far. We have an application that allows us to log into the particle server. If the credentials are correct, we'll go to this other table view, which will list all the devices associated with their account. What we're going to do in this video is create a new view, and if the device that we select in this table view over here is online, then we'll go ahead and uh, segue to that new view and we'll pass along the device information so we can then start displaying some stuff about that device on the next view. So let's get started and we'll type in view and we'll just make it a regular view controller and I'll drag that and then we'll just start off by creating the Coco Touch class so new file Coco Touch class and we're gonna call it selected device dashboard view controller and I'll select next and um, real quickly I want to want you guys to make sure that this subclass is of UI view controller not table view so view controller if you've been following along so far the last one that we made was a table view so it may have just defaulted to that so I'll go ahead and create and then just like before we need to then associate that file that we just created with this view controller and I'll just say selected device there we go and we'll now create a segue by control dragging dropping and we'll just make it show for now that's fine and we'll give it a name and we'll make it um, give this name for the segue selected uh, selected device dashboard view controller segue remember you want everything to be very explicit so um, I just want to make sure it's the same selected device dashboard view controller segue cool so now if we select this and we can make sure that it is getting some programmatic functionality making sure that it is having something associated with it by just clicking the assistant editor and making sure that it takes us to that file so cool everything's going gravy now let's work with this file over here the one that we've been working with so far now what we need to go ahead and say is let's create a variable and we'll call this variable um, selected device sorry if you guys could hear my dog she's kind of just biting away at herself spark device and it could be nil. Um, we'll then say um, we'll give it a new function that we need to use and we'll say table view so did select row at so this is saying when somebody selects the, a specific row we'll do something based on that and then I'm gonna go ahead and say okay when you select a row if um, if the device that we selected because each row has a device associated with it so we're going to iterate through this array and we're going to say if that device has its connected status equal to true then we're going to um, then go to that new segue and before we continue further I want to show you guys what that spark device object exactly looks like so here's some sample code that I got from one of my devices uh, Tomatillo over here so you can see that we have a type it's a photon in this case because there are different type of types of spark devices it's the ID blah 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 so good stuff that we need to know and particularly in this um, tutorial we're going to be uh, interested in this key value pair which is connected and false so we're going to say where were we if um, so we're going to iterate through that array so we're saying if the my particle device array index path dot row again this is saying that specific cell that we're selecting is equal equal to false so if the connected status is equal to false then we're going to just print to the console your device is not connected is not currently connected okay else we're gonna do uh, the following we're gonna perform that segue so we'll go ahead and say 
uh, we'll just type in segue, perform segue with identifier, and we'll give it that name that we had over here, and we'll just copy and paste, because I don't exactly remember the segue name. So select a device dashboard, blah, 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 blah. And we'll paste it here. Uh, again, sender can be nil. And now we should be going to a new view if the device is connected. So let's go ahead and um, push Command R to build and run the application. Let's see what's going on. Now, if we've done our job correctly, So I'll just log in real quick. We have our devices here. Uh, Tomatillo is currently offline, so if I select it, it should say your device is not currently connected. Awesome. Now if I select Demented, which is currently online, we should be taken to that new table view. So let's go ahead and select it, and that's pretty cool. So now we're going to that new table view. What we need to then do is make sure that we're passing along uh, that device information. So let's make sure that that new table view uh, Coco Touch class has a variable in there, selected device, so we can pass to it some information. Selected device, again, it's going to be of Spark device type. And now um, we're going to do segue, just type in segue here. So we're going to go ahead and prepare for a segue. And we're going to uh, make the variable up here selected device equal to the particular particularly selected um, particle device in that array. So now we're going to need to go ahead and pass it over here to that other view. But first, we're going to need to say Okay, let the next uh, let the next view controller be equal to the name of this view controller file. So we're gonna say segue dot destination as okay, and then we're gonna type in the file name. So selected device dashboard view controller, and then we're gonna say we want to make the variable inside of that file. So selected or sorry. Um, we'll just reference it by its new variable that we made dot and then it has a variable called select the device that we made right here so now what we're gonna say is we're gonna make this variable equal to the variable that we have up here which is taking on the value of whichever cell we've selected so selected device is gonna be equal to selected device and now if everything is done correctly when this new view loads we'll go ahead and just print out that selected device and we'll go ahead and see some information I'll push command R to build and run this application and we'll go ahead and go through that painstaking process of logging in devices will load and So when the devices load, um, there was a bug right there that we can fix later on. So when the devices do load, I'll select the one that is online. And you'll see that now that we're at the new view, we've gone ahead and printed out information about that specific device. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.